Greetings guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Jeff Peter. Today I'll be taking you through seven reasons why you are eating clean, working out but not seeing results. Without not taking much of your time, let's ride on. Firstly, goals. You don't have any goals set aside. Many people have been contacting me, asking me, how do I move from 80 kilograms to 70 kilograms? And when I respond, asking them, what are your goals? They don't have goals. Now, be the judges. I give you an example of two guys. A wishes to lose weight so as to be accepted in a career, being in a police academy. And B wishes to lose weight just to see the scale drop from 70 to 65 kilograms. Given the same time frame of six months, who do you think is going to lose weight? I think A, because he has a focus, he has goals, which is to achieve, which is to achieve those goals so as to get an entry into the police academy, which is a career which he loves. Whereas B, just wishes to lose weight so as to see the scale dropping from 60 to 55 kilograms. All I'm trying to say is you need to set aside a goal which becomes your why, why you wish to lose weight. Maybe for health reasons, maybe for your daughter, maybe for your son, maybe for your family or whatever. But you need to set aside goals which becomes your why. Secondly, counting or tracking calories. We all know diet is the key in building muscles or losing weight. If you wish to build muscles, you need to be on a calorie surplus. And if you wish to lose weight, you need to be on a calorie deficit. Without tracking or counting your calories, it leads to overfeeding because most of the time people assume just because the light of peanut butter fruits are healthy it does not mean you consume them without tracking or counting them to know what your daily intakes are thirdly exercise or training in losing weight or building muscles you need to be training or exercising at least three to four times a week being it resistant training which involves weight or high intensity interval training which you select six exercises to perform them given in a given period of time having short rest or low intensity steady state exercise which is normally walking whichever is comfortable for you you need to be performing it three to four times a week furthermore consistency while being patient just because you've been eating clean and working out three to four times in a week you expect to see result in maybe a month or two no it is not done like that i ask you a question is it the same one month or two months you took to accumulate that fat no i doubt it so you need to be patient in your pursuit for your goals now you need to perform progressive overload in this stage because you don't want your body to be at the same level you need to constantly shocking your body for example if you were doing 30 push-ups a day for the month of june now for the month of july you need to be doing 35 to 40 push-ups a day for that month if you were walking let's say 5,000 steps a day for the month of June now for the month of July you need to take it to 5,500 or 6,000 steps a day so as to shock your body so as to constantly be working out while being patient to see results in the future in addition sleep this is the most important part of all. You need to be sleeping for 7 to 8 hours a night. Are you getting enough sleep? I doubt it. Now, we all know lack of sleep reduces brain function. It weakens the immune system, 
and it delays recovery. So you need enough sleep in building muscles or losing weight. Moreover, ego or competition. You need to know your level of fitness and move on your lane. You don't have to compete with anyone. Have that notion of slowly but surely. Just because you move into the gym and you see somebody performing an exercise, maybe deadlifting with 200 kilograms and you wish to do the same. You are only going to add injuries to yourself. So know your level of fitness and take it a step at a time. Lastly, positive mindset. Remember, there will always be naysayers. There will always be people with negative mindset. Just because you know someone who has tried, failed and given up, advising you or telling you it is not possible, that is their cup of coffee. You just have to believe and trust the process. Knowing everything is possible through Christ that strengthens us. As his Father, our Lord Almighty, said it, go in peace to the world and face the difficulties of life with faith, hope and confidence. Okay guys, we've come to the end of this video. If you found it interesting, please like, share and subscribe. Until then, see you in my next video. Bye-bye.